I decided to record this video because I wanted to uh, show you the um, next group of models that I'm planning to make in GMAX for um, trains and um, this is uh, arising from uh, buying this book uh, volume one of Russell's uh, two-part pictorial record of Great Western Coaches snappily titled including the round vehicles and uh, so this is covering the period of the ball gauge from 1838 through to its end and then into that um, golden era in so many ways from about 1882 uh, the, uh, to 1913, 1914 the Great War and so I've used this book um, because it's full of diagrams plans, photographs, very good indeed and uh, very helpful indeed and um, it's allowed me to uh, select a whole series of clerestory coaches uh, to make and um, here's the one that I'm going to start with. This is clerestory coach uh, C4 or a C4 type in the classification used by the drawing office in Swindon and I'm um, just looking at my notes here it was a um, uh, a third clerestory third as you can see with the uh, one two three four five six seven compartments each only uh, five foot six inches uh, wide with bench type seating no corridor at this early stage um, and uh, I think this dates from about the 18, 18, uh, early 1880s and um, overall on the body it's a 40 foot body 40 foot frame and it's using 6 foot 4 inch bogies and you can see it's nicely panelled throughout so the way I approach this is uh, my first step is to take this into a 2D drawing program which I use it's a real old chestnut now I'm not sure it's even made um, and it's Macromedia freehand here it is and what I've done is I've used this for the producing the textures for the sides of the sides and ends of my uh, broad gauge carriages and so this is just developing on that and simply in the 2D for these are these down here by the way are from the broad gauge broad gauge carriage uh, this just gives me the colors and what I've done here is I've taken the a scan of the book and um, if I just hide everything else you'll see I've got land the guides as well you'll see I've just got that scan that you just saw um, in um, window picture viewer and now if I add the guides which are just the blue lines in that guide me through it all and then I start bringing in the colors and the panels and what I'm doing here is I'm making the textures in um, uh, just 2D obviously 2d as textures and these are going to be for the side of the this one's for the side of the carriage and this is for the clerestory and this is the initial one for the end and if you look if you look there you'll see that it's actually wider than the end i've got here so in fact when i looked at the drawings i think this one is, is slightly wrong I've been reproduced incorrectly and it should be eight foot wide brings it to that second I think it's the second yeah the second of those blue lines there so what I've done is I've just redrawn that and I've still got the upper piece here the upper end piece there to draw as as part of the texture uh, as another texture and here we've got the uh, clerestries uh, texture and I would really recommend this um, if you've not done uh, made any textures yourself in the past to have a go at doing this for when you're uh, modeling in GMAX and you'll see from this texture that I've got here that I've made um, these are where the windows going to be these are where the doors are going to be but that's going to be fine for um, creating the right um, you'll see when I come to make these carriages how that will all fill in because when I put this onto a mesh for the side of the carriage as it were the holes in the mess, mesh will punch through as indeed will the doors because the doors have to be a separate mesh so they can open and close so that's what I'm planning to do there um, but in preparing to do this um, uh, this um, series of coaches and I don't know whether I'm going to get around to them all but I've actually listed out no less than 111 carriages from Russell's book that I'm, I would really like to model 
uh, and about half of those are clerestory and the other are the uh, lower roof the ordinary roof um, so this is a a two arc roof here we've got an arc there an arc there same arc and then the shadow a almost flat arc there and on the clever street it's a single arc so there are various types of of ends there all these sort of things you want to watch out for and by doing the um the side you do find that some things i flick it back there back and forth you'll see that the position especially when we get to about here isn't exactly on this drawing but it is precise according if i take that away it is precise as far as the positioning of all that is, is concerned and it's 40 feet and in um, gmax what i've already done um, is i've started to produce a series of i've made three bogies three different bogies these are the um, two of them are the churchwood bogies and this one is the 10 foot dean bogey uh, for carriages up to the first world war and the, they lasted beyond so if i open up um, uh, other bogies here i've done the six foot four make sure i've got the right one because i did do a six foot six which was a bit daft because there isn't such a thing there we are this is the six foot four bogey and they're rather odd looking bogies they were really um pieces of uh original design by churchwood this is in the development period of carriage bogies but that's enough material there for that bogey the six foot four uh, bogey onto which which will um, be the bogies that run under this and <coughs> in addition to that um, I started so that's going to be a standard dependency for a lot of the carriages and uh, there's also going to be where are we open that six foot four uh, six foot six there is the eight foot six bogey which again is a, is a churchwood's own development and then dean developed those further and we had the uh, 10 foot bogey which is the one you first saw so i could have used ones that were already on the download station uh, somebody else's bogeys but i just fancied having a go myself and uh, i used a variety of uh, source material um, including uh, these sort of diagrams which I got off the um, internet so that's showing these sort of string volute springs that, uh, and then this gave me the, the framework for which more in a minute and that gave, gave me the gave me the single bogey layout for four and six wheeled rigid um, carriages and then what else have I got here these are various scans from the book which I'm using to guide me through but that's some TPOs which I scanned in order to get this detail here these are the single wheeled six wheel carriages which I'm eventually going to model as well that gave me some detail there if I zoom in you can see it's a bit fuzzy but you can sharpen it up and use it as a good guide and I use these photographs to help guide you through the single ones and also I found that there's a model manufacturer that have produced the not sure which one this is the eight foot six or the ten foot but these were designed or these are designed i forget which manufacturer had done these to so that you could unclip from a hornby model of a carriage you could unclip their plastic uh bogey and you could clip this one which is more much more accurate and i just thought the picture was really handy it helped me to visualize some of the 2d detail into the 3d so i was happy to get find that on the um on the internet so there we are so that's the bogey um there. that's the 10 foot bogey but what i've also uh, started making is um the frame now this will be a standard uh, frame uh, of different lengths uh, 40 foot is one 50 foot i think is another anyway there's about three lengths so i shall make three of these to the relevant lengths or more as required and I've left these with uh, both the steps in place although in some of the carriages this second this lower step is now has been removed or it has been attached to the bogey with um, cutouts for the axle boxes and what I've done here is I've um, added attachment points so we've got um, the usual limits of the final vehicle and that's allowing for the coupling 
the buffers that sit on the buffers there and this is for the, the position for the bogies a bog one a bog naught and then here uh, the coupling and i'm using a third party a dependency from the dls for that nice three link coupling that joins up uh, which i've seen on so many other carriages so i want to use that as well and i've still got work to do on this um, first of all there is uh, here I've got uh, to adjust this, this is actually lifted from my raw gauge uh, frame so I've got to correct uh, change this slightly here and um, also I've got to, what else have I got to do, oh yes I've got to bring in some, quite a bit more detail under here, there's only one queen post there for example and I'm not sure about this rodding here so I've got to do that um, and I've also got to put in a gas cylinder for the gas lighting and any other details that I can think of and so once I've done that um, my aim is to have a series of standard uh, either dependencies as in the bogies or sections of models so I will have end carriages carriage ends I shall have internal carriage partitions and uh, seating and that sort of thing uh, all to bring in so that actually once I start making these i'm gonna i'm intending to knock them out fairly fairly rapidly um i just love the idea of having so many of those turn of the century gwr terrestry coaches so there we are i thought it was worth um mentioning for those of you who are interested in modeling in gmax to show you how i go about starting a new project as extensive as this um and uh, so this is really the first stage of seeing anything that's going to be um, like the carriage that I've made like the carriage when I do export these textures I will take them into a paint program and I will resize them because they're going to be massive when I export them from this so I've got to bring them down to I think it's about 1024 by whatever it is this way uh, a power of two um, the same as I've done for my um, broad gauge carriages and um, and make sure that everything's all okay it looks all okay and then i can use those towards my uh, final models so there we are that gives you an idea should you be uh, modeling in gmax how to start off a project research is essential so um, that's why this was my starting point if you can get a copy of this book if you're interested in these carriages this is the one to get that i've not seen volume one available on amazon for quite a time so when it did become available at a reasonable price uh, I jumped and uh, volume 2 is fairly common but volume 1 seems to be a little bit more scarce and uh, so there we are great western chemistry coaches uh, how I'm going to make them um, and uh, watch out for them beginning to appear I would say it's going to be three or four months before the first one comes so in the autumn of 2018 something like that so I hope that's been of interest. If it has been, please give me a thumbs up or um, and please leave a comment if you wish. Please subscribe to my channel. There's no commitment. It's completely free. I don't. I can't see who the subscribers are. I can't send you emails or anything like that. It just gives me a boost to produce um, more of these videos.